What's going on guys? So I'm going to try to answer a question that is probably one of the most common questions I get asked anytime someone is looking at getting into pulling a travel trailer or a fifth wheel. So hang tight, I don't think you're going to want to miss this video. So one of the most commonly asked questions anytime I get an email from folks who are just brand new into RVing and they're looking at buying their first travel trailer or fifth wheel is they want me to address the intimidation factor of towing. Just the fact that they've never towed anything maybe larger than a small utility trailer and they're very much intimidated by the chance that something could go wrong while they're towing. And they want to understand, is towing a travel trailer or a fifth wheel different than towing something like a utility trailer or what is it like to tow a trailer period is there going to be things that they have to be aware of that they might not normally now you probably watched a lot of videos before you've watched this video on that exact topic and I'm gonna to try to answer that question the best way I know how, because it's gonna be different for different people, especially if you have different experiences. So first of all, the one thing that I wanna say is if you have experience towing a boat or a utility trailer, especially a smaller boat, something like an 18 to a 20 footer behind your vehicle, towing a larger travel trailer or fifth wheel is a completely different experience in my opinion. There are several things you want to keep in mind. How a travel trailer or fifth wheel is going to react to wind, how it's going to react to vehicles driving by it such as large semi trucks or trailers or other RVs, how it's also going to back into place are all completely different. In my opinion, the larger the trailer you go with, the easier it is to maneuver in terms of backing in. Now, when it comes to pulling it straight, there are some things that you have to keep in mind, such as where are the axles placed on your specific type of RV. If the axles are located more towards the center of your rig, well, that's gonna give you a different turning dynamic than if the axles are placed more towards the rear of the trailer. And the reason why is because your wheels and your tires are your pivot point. That is the point in which the trailer is going to start to turn and that's always the part that you want to keep your eye on whenever you're trying to maneuver a trailer, whether you're backing it up or pulling it forward. The longer the wheelbase between the back wheels of your tow vehicle and your trailer actually permit a slightly more comfortable backing experience simply because your moment is much longer. You don't have to deal with sudden drastic changes in the angle of your trailer by making really small adjustments up front. When you're towing a small boat or maybe a small utility trailer, the moment in which the trailer will start to turn and at what angle it starts to turn is going to be much greater the closer the wheels of the trailer are to your tow vehicle. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people when they get larger trailers, they'll tell you it's actually easier to back in a larger, longer trailer than it is a shorter trailer. And that simply has to do with the fact that things happen slower when when the trailer is longer. You don't have to worry about such sudden shifts in the angle of the trailer when the trailer is longer. Now when it comes to towing, there are things you're going to have to keep in mind if you've never towed before. First of all, and probably the single most important thing to keep in mind is your stopping distance is going to change. Things are going to feel a little different. Even if you're properly set up with a trailer brake controller, you're still going to have a delayed stopping response. And mainly because your entire gross combined weight of both vehicles is added together versus it being separate. And you're going to have a much different experience stopping. So you're going to want to understand and maybe even prepare for what it's like to start slowing down a little sooner. The second biggest part that you're going to have to keep an eye on is your turning angle. You're going to need to understand where the wheels and tires of your trailer are tracking in correspondence to the tow vehicle itself. Because if you just start to make a turn like you normally would when you're unladen, when you don't have a trailer behind you, then you're going to have to understand that your trailer tires are going to want to cut across the turn and not necessarily follow the vehicle. So 
what do you do? You have to practice. You have to understand, again, that your trailer tires are the pivot point in which the trailer will start turning. So when you pull up to a stop, when you pull up to an intersection and you need to make a turn, you need to adjust your vehicle appropriately in the lanes that you have available to you to make sure you clear that turn. You also have to worry about the swing around. You have to worry about the back of your trailer because with RVs, your trailer is generally going to protrude off the back of your axles another six to ten feet. And if that's the case, you need to understand what's taking place with that extra six to ten feet of swing when you start to make a turn. As you execute the turn, the rear portion of the trailer is going to want to swing out and you have to make sure that you have the clearance for it or at least that you understand the turning geometry to make sure that it doesn't affect people in the lanes next to you in a dramatic way. And by dramatic, I mean by impacting them. So there are a lot of principles to understand. But more importantly than everything I just talked about, it's understanding what your tow vehicle is capable of, how your hitch is configured, what type of other forces that you do have control over are going to impact your towing experience, are going to impact the feel at the end of your trip. The last thing you want is to put yourself in a situation where you're not comfortable towing simply because you tried to overexert the tow vehicle or you didn't set your tow vehicle and your trailer up appropriately to give you the smoothest and best towing experience. That's the problem I see most of the time. I know a lot of people that get to an RV park and they feel stressed out when they get there. And first of all, it's completely okay to have a level of anxiety or stress while you're towing. Even if you're set up 100% correctly and you have all the correct numbers and you understand exactly how you need to configure everything, there's anxiety whenever you're towing something very large behind you. That being said though, you can minimize that anxiety as long as you practice safe towing techniques. At least if you know that you're set up properly, that you've taken the time to set up your weight distribution hitch properly, and you know that your vehicle's in great shape, you know that you have more than enough capability to tow the trailer that you're towing, and you're paying attention to all the things that you need to pay attention to while you're driving. At the end of the day, your first towing experience is always going to be stressful on you if you've never towed before. Don't expect it to be the most peaceful experience you've had operating a motor vehicle. You do need to understand that you will have anxiety and you are going to be cautious of every turn, every stop, every lane change you make because you're having to calculate for the length of a trailer, which you didn't have to do before. As long as you practice safe techniques, as long as you know that you're taking those extra few minutes or even those extra a few seconds before you execute a change, before you make your turn, before you start backing in, and you're thinking about what you're doing, and you're not focusing on other things around you, such as impressing the other people at the RV lot, or impressing other people in traffic with what your rig looks like, or how you think you're towing it, you'll be in pretty good shape. There are a lot of really great resources out there, including other YouTube channels and videos that you can watch that can help guide you through this process. But I did want to make this video because I don't think people have simply talked about this before and mentally prepared you before you've ever even gotten into a towing situation. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.